Good evening. In today's lab, we'll be seeing the first one, the study of sampling theorem, effect of undersampling. In this experiment, you come to know about how to view the real-time analog signals with oscilloscope. And you may be able to set amplitude, frequency, phase, parameter, and change the parameter and check how the signal looks like. And then finally, you can set the sampling frequency of the source such that the signal is exactly able to reconstruct in the receiver side. If the condition is not satisfied, the reconstruction is impossible. That is the effect of undersampling. These parameters, these points, you could be able to learn at the end of this experiment. So the procedure, I hope the theory will not be a problem for you. The procedure, already enough theory we have discussed. Anyway, just one second, I'll tell you the theory. The core part of it. So any ADC you take, the first part, the first block is sampler. The sampler is nothing but a switch. It should operate at a rate so that the X of T will be converted to X of T and T. What rate it should be operated? That is your sampling frequency rate. The sampling frequency rate is given by your uh, uh, Shannon's theorem. Sampling theorem. The sampling theorem says the frequency, operating frequency, that is sampling frequency, should be twice greater than the message frequency, maximum message frequency. If it is a band limited signal, it should be a band limited signal. Maximum, it can be uh, twice greater, twice, uh, twice of this, otherwise, it will be greater. So that's the equation given here. Your sampling frequency is greater than or equal to 2 FM. Okay, your sampling frequency is, you can see this is very important. This is the point has been given. Okay, uh, now let us move to the uh, procedure. Procedure is, is very simple. Uh, first two, three steps is not important. The fourth one, if you just take it, fourth one, you have to drag the sign generator from the browser blocks. This is your giant sign generator. Second one, you have to drop the uh, sampling block. This is your sampling block. The third one is you have to uh, drop this visual scope, okay, virtual scope, and wire it like this. Okay, if proper wiring happened, it will look like a, a black connection between the two, otherwise, it will look like a red. Okay, so if it is not connected properly, it will look like a red. So drop these three and wire it like this, and then do go for the analysis. Okay, so let me start the uh, simulation as you all know if there is no uh, if there is no uh, adobe flash player it won't appear so try to install it if you install it will be appearing this block will be workspace will be appearing for you and uh, you just go to the browser block in the browser block you got the three block three blocks which is needed for this experiment has been given here so let me take the sine wave generator and keep it here you just click it will get selected then you drop and click here drag and click here and let us fix the amplitude as 4 and the frequency as 2 i am not touching the angle right now face angle let me take the uh, the sampler block and keep it here and since i have just kept the frequency as 2 it should be 4 or more than 4 Okay, so I'll keep it here. Next comes your virtual box that I virtual scope that I'll keep it here. Now you click and draw a line between these two, get connected. Similarly, click in the outward projected triangle and take the line and click here, it will be connected. Somewhere here in the middle, I just, after I get the pen, I just click it, click the pen, click it. So the now connections are over. Now you double click this and see the waveform. Okay, so you can see now 4 volt signal, 2 hertz signal. Sampling frequency should be 4. So 4 means I'll pick these samples. Okay, 